It began with a promise in 1979. I just made a, a simple promise and said, you know, if you help me get through this and, and get my life back, I will help other rape survivors. Danielle Tudor remembers the night. The night that I was raped after I got home from the hospital, having had the rape get done, I was in my bedroom uh, all alone and just in the darkness laying in my bed just sobbing. That's when she made it her mission that no other victim of sexual assault feel as if hope is lost. The battle for victims' rights would begin and several years later start making waves. I made an appointment with two different senators and sat down and just had this conversation about what needed to happen in the state. Those senators listened and the Oklahoma Sexual Assault Forensics Evidence Task Force was created. This legislative session, a breakthrough for rape survivors as five new pieces of legislation are introduced all aimed at changing the state's rape culture. The first one being the tracking system for rape kits. That's really important so that survivors, after you know they've submitted to that exam, uh, there'll be a barcode and then they will actually be given their case number. Survivors can access where their rape kit is and when it's tested. If the law passes, every agency in the state will be mandated to use the system. Also keeping rape kits. A proposed law would mandate rape kits are kept for 50 years the same as the national standard. We also have a couple other bills that are in there which mandate uh, the testing and how long law enforcement has to pick up the kit from the hospital and then do their investigation and submit that kit for testing. It's no secret Oklahoma was audited for its backlog of untested rape kits. This new bill would change that. Another bill would give victims the right to information, such as their police reports. And lastly, a bill requiring law enforcement to undergo training related to sexual assault calls, response, and evidence collection. By legislating and making it law, you make that system more transparent, and, and that's what we're after. Tudor says she expects at least three of these new bills to pass. She says she won't stop fighting for survivors' rights.